This is really a pleasant sight right now. You see the baby deer eating alfalfa. So they are already eating alfalfa. Those deer will be weaned pretty soon. I'm anxious to get the ones weaned at the house uh, where Jimmy doesn't have to be washing baby bottles several times a day and refilling them with a milk replacer. Uh, they're just uh, doing good working on that alfalfa. Uh, they're, I'm sure, eating South Fresh deer food. Uh, we've got some feeders here on the down here below that are totally out right now. I'll just take a shot of them right there. There's some feeders that we bought locally here. Those are those are made. Those are made locally. And uh, let's kind of take a look at those. They're empty right now, but uh, we have been putting feed in those for the babies to be able to eat. As soon as the feed comes in, we'll be doing the exact same thing. Should be here any day now. We will just kind of walk around just a little bit and you see the babies there are uh, eating alfalfa, having a great time. The babies over there licking each other like babies do, preening each other. And uh, they look absolutely spectacular. Uh, I could hope, I maybe get a count here. I'm not sure if I can get a count or not. <laughs> there are just a lot of babies in here, I think. We got in the neighborhood, we got between 20 and 25. I asked my buddy Jay Standifer that uh, runs the uh, runs the ranch across the road. I asked him about babies, and he said he had about 25, I think. And uh, he's had uh, some casualties also, not very many. You remember we talked about them loving to lay in corners. There's three or four laying in the corner right there together. The babies like to lay together. It's always good. I like to get some of them running, get some pictures of them running, but they're not running. They're just kind of being lazy it's a nice cool morning there's one kind of looking looking for his mama not doing zoomies though just uh just running around running around looking looking for mama having a great time just being baby deer not a care in the world just being baby deer yep just being baby deer beautiful gorgeous Okay, there, boys and girls, is the monster. That is, without a doubt, the biggest deer on Twin Eagle. He's born right here, the red tag. It's Whitey. Uh, he has one of his sons, little Whitey, that looks like he's going to be fantastic also. He's walking right toward us, just about, he's like a camera hog. If I can get Split Ear to leave me alone here. She's rubbing on me and carrying on. My goodness. He just walked right up here on top of me. She's putting her, laying her head up on my chest and wanting me to rub her. She's just giving me love. And I'm working, girl. I'm trying to get a nice shot at Whitey. He's being very, she's chewing on the, uh, pushing on the tripod. I've got it set as a monopod right now. All the sticks straight down. But you look at that deer right there. Y'all take a look back and see just two or three weeks back or a month back or whatever and see what he's adding because he's just adding enormously adding enormously he's just added so much this week it's amazing and i don't know what he's going to end up but he's going to be well over a 200 point we got a deer peeing as normal he's uh really 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 a big deer gonna go over and work on him a little alfalfa you can see if you saw him in the woods it would take your breath away that's what i'm trying to create here is take your breath away deer running around all over the ranch run around in the yard, run around everywhere, where we can uh, just have a fantastic time here on the Twin Eagle Ranch. Absolutely marvelous. And all of these babies belong to Whitey, including little Whitey, and including uh, really all of them that's up there, three of them that we have up at the house. Oh, man. There you are. There you are. Big, big, big. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, before we quit, let's take a look at Prince Charming. Save the white deer for last. And hopefully maybe we might even get another look at the bro Brotherhood. You never can tell what we might see. Okay. We're, uh, we're going to go in and take a, look at, take a look at Prince Charming. See how his antlers have grown this week. And uh, I've got some food here. <laughs> I've got some food here that 
Oh my goodness, Snow White. Snow White is feeling gates out here. Kind of scared her a little bit. <laughs> Snow White is smelling that food. And there's a, there's a big deer right there. Let's uh, feed them a little bit first. Okay, we're going to take a look at the Prince Charming there. The babies are inside the building. Let's see. Come here, Prince Charming. Come here. Now, Snow White was up here. Look at the size of his antlers. I can see it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I got seven or eight on each side. Hey, buddy. Looky there. Looky there. Looky there. Uh, he's found that one now. See, I don't know if he'll come over here or not. Uh, Snow White was here, and she was just all excited. She smelled the food, and she uh, she just got scared. We'll see if uh, we'll see if he'll come up here close to me. Come here, buddy. Come here, here, bud. Here. Come here, here, don't here, here. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's really something right there, isn't it? There you go. I think I'll turn around and shoot some shots inside uh, well, from the other angle where we can zoom in on on, uh, on his antlers there. And obviously, just as I said that, we was going to turn around. Here he comes. He's going to walk right up to me. I was trying to get him over there. With, I was on the same side as he is. I had to switch things around. And here he is absolutely right on top of me. You're in too close now, buddy. Look at the size of those antlers, will you? Will you look at the size of those antlers? Huh? Will you look at those? Back up a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, back up a little bit. Look at there. Oh, my goodness. Well, let me get around on this side. Let's change this thing around again just a well. I say that, and there goes... There goes... Uh, <laughs> this is hard videoing. Okay. I'm going to make another attempt to get over here with him. He is so close. He is so close. I mean, he's... Look at there. I'm right, I'm right on top of the camera. He is so very close. You can see how big these antlers are. I'm actually touching them. He's not letting me touch those antlers at all. He's letting me love on him a little bit. He's not necessarily liking it, but my goodness, he's the most gentle he's been. I guess those apples is what did it. An apple a day. Here you go. Now you're, you're getting in the bag. Here, here, here. Yeah, he's trying to, he's smelling the apples in the bag. Oh, buddy. Oh my goodness, you're just taming up. Look at that. That's the most tame you've been. He said, I don't want to, oh my goodness, look at that. Is that, that special? Is that special? That is really something there, isn't it? <laughs> and Snow White, I want to give her some. You're not going to get them all, big boy. But you look there, and he's going to, this is going to spread out at least two or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine on each side. He's just, just a beautiful, beautiful big buck. Golly. I can't believe how he's letting me touch him like that. I got lots of apples here. He's loving the apples for sure. But the apple's a big bite too, isn't it? <laughs> hey, hey, we we can't give all you got a good look at him. You see what he, how much he's grown this week? He's grown a lot. We've got to go feed some of these too. Uh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> We've got to feed some of these too. You gotta feed some of these to your girlfriend. Yeah, I suppose you think she's pretty. I do. Okay, I've got her up here. Oh, she's smelling that apple. Oh yeah, she's moved over here in the shade. It's awfully bright over here too. Oh my goodness, look at her. Oh, come here, girl. She is really spooky though. Come here now. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on over here. Come on here. Oh my goodness, and she took off and ran over the other way. She ate those two apples and then took off running. Oh, me darn. She is being really spooky today. There he is. <laughs> Nothing is spooking him. Chris is back here on the porch watching all of this happen. Here. 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 Here's Snow White coming around the corner here. Let's see if I can get her up here. Come here, Snow White. Come here, baby. Come here. She's just not... She just... Not really acting. She's just acting super spooky today. Both her babies are in the building. Oh, now you're going to come up here, huh? There's a carrot. Oh, look, at, look at that. She run into the tripod. She's just awfully spooky right now. She wants to eat, 
but she's just spooky. That's all there is to it. I mean, I don't know what I can say. I don't know how I can say anything differently than that. There's the little babies in there. We don't want them to get scared. They're gonna get scared if she does. I'm just gonna get back off out here, out of the way. Come here, baby. Now she's gonna run out of the building. The little babies, there's our two little white babies inside the building. You can see those precious little guys. You see that one that's got just a lot more white on it than the other one. They're, they're gonna be totally white, that color there. And they are big, you gotta get a long legged. They're gonna be really big deer, just like their, their mama's a pretty good sized deer. She's really being, really being spooky today. I don't like that, but there's not anything, not anything we can do about it. I'm gonna feed her the rest of these carrots and apples. So we got cut up apples. We had five or six apples that got a little old in there that we used to dip in caramel and Chris likes and Jimmy likes even more. <laughs> you can see the babies are just gorgeous right there. It's a beautiful shot of both of them. She's a great mama. She's taking care of them, giving them lots of milk. And those two require a lot of milk. There's no doubt about that because those are two nice, beautiful bucks. And uh, their daddy is a champion you know, big, beautiful, pure albino champion. So they're gonna have some big horns like uh, like uh, Prince Charming, who is not their daddy. But now, hopefully, Prince Charming and Snow White will make it through the hot Oklahoma summer and uh, be able to get together this fall and make us some more little white babies. Maybe some little white baby girls. A little white baby girl would be nice, particularly be nice if you could happen to get a chance to raise it on a bottle. Prince Charming is so calm today, and Snow White is so nervous. Okay, I'm going to make one last attempt to get her to come up here and, uh, and eat some carrots. I think just about all the apples, and she loves it. Here you go, baby. Here. Here, looky there. Looky there. One last attempt to get her to come up here. and Oh, she's not going to do it. She just ran by me. She's just so nervous. It's amazing. Yeah, he'll walk right up to me, I bet you. He's, it's amazing how he's tamed down. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, I have a carrot. Come on. Come on, Prince. Come on, Prince Charming. I think her being so nervous has shook him up a little bit, too. Come here, Prince Charming. Come here. Now, she's wanting these carrots, but she's just not wanting to come up here and eat them out of my hands. She's going to make another attempt. It looks like she went back and got her babies. There you go, baby. She went back and got her babies, brought her babies out. What are you crying about, baby? Here, Prince. Here you go. Throw her some carrots out there. Yeah, I'm throwing an apple. Let her gather some of that up. This big boy. This big boy. <laughs> He's ready to eat. All right, I'm going to give you only one more. and then You're going to eat the one off the ground. Eat the one off the ground. And I'm going to... Hey, baby, how about that? Let her find those down there. She didn't get rid of me. Hey, hey. And there's the little babies over there. She went in, got them, and brought them out. She might be just worried about them in that pen there. Hi, big boy. Uh, licking my arm. Isn't he something? <laughs> that was kind of magical, wasn't it? I guarantee you that was really something. She's just nervous. That's all I can say. What can I say? <laughs> Okay, guys and girls, that'll wrap up this week's uh, antlers video. I will take one last little look here at the deer at the house before I send this stuff on to Pat. Pat. Uh, you can see that little deer there with his second horns. It's going to be really nice, probably a pretty little eight point. He's probably going to be about like, he's probably going to be about like Forrest was this year, maybe. Maybe not quite as big. And, of course, well, it's a shame right there that Ot6 did that because he would have had some really nice antlers. All the other deer have left. They've left only these four guys here, and you can see they're still enjoying the the uh, alfalfa. They can get to that alfalfa on demand, but they don't. One really nice look. We didn't get a good look at TC earlier when we were up here. This and uh, so we'll take a nice, nice look at TC. You got some extra stuff sticking out of his head below his brow tines. Those brow tine, the brow tine on the left side, is we're looking the one on the tag side. It's going to split. The other one may or may not. 
So he's probably going to have two, three, I'm going to say six on one side, plus whatever those little kickers are on his head, if they're big enough to measure. And probably have um, five on the other side, probably what he's going to be. But look at that deer. Will you look at that deer? I mean, that's just a beautiful, beautiful buck. A beauty. And, of course, everybody's lover deer. <laughs> Mine, too. Forrest, you can see he's added a lot. Now, they're getting dark out there on the end. I don't know exactly what that means when they're getting dark on that end. But they've got quite a bit of growing left to do out there. They've got quite a little bit of growing. And you remember back when I put that, you know, I probably, probably remember the video, some of you, well, back when I, I put that, uh, I put that other collar on him and it was just a chore to get it on and got it caught in his mouth and then he was up mad at me for a while, but he got over it. He's kind of like Chris, he gets over it. <laughs> but they are enjoying the alfalfa and that's really a good look at the deer at the house. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one this week. Don't, uh, don't forget, we've got deer videos coming out uh, Friday night and Saturday also on uh, Lucy's Herd, uh, which we'll be taking a little look at these guys again so you can kind of see these a little bit more than once. Have you a great one out there. And remember, I sure do love you. Woohoo! What a big, big boy.